I think that some people think that this is going to be, it's going to be a couple of weeks, give me a shot, not a couple of weeks, I'll be good, right? I'll be back to doing whatever I want to do. And obviously that's not often the case. Sometimes it's the case, because if it's just an irritated rotator cuff, you inject them, you know, that would be one thing. Maybe that the idea is of what steps do we take, right? When someone comes to the office and they said, yeah, I just hurt my shoulder, you know, kind of where we go from there. Because just like we talked a little bit before, people are worried that they're going to come see me and say, well, you got surgery tomorrow right and that's not the way it works so what you would typically do we'd come to the office and we would evaluate you right we would look at your shoulder move your shoulder around there's certain maneuvers and and uh, things that we do in the office to, to try to understand your shoulder injury because there are, there are a hundred shoulder injuries not just the rotator cuff so that's one thing second thing we would get x-rays either you would bring in x-rays from your primary care doctor or the emergency room or we'll get x-rays and x-rays in our office those x-rays help us to do a couple things one Lots of times it's to tell us what it's not, right? We say, okay, we, we know you didn't break something, or you didn't break your collarbone, you didn't break your shoulder, so it's not a broken thing. Or we can say, and as bad as it sounds, it's not a tumor. Because part of my job is to look for the crazy, unusual things. And 99.9% .9 of the time, it's not a tumor, but if we don't get an x-ray, we don't know that for sure. And it would be a very bad thing for me to miss a tumor as an orthopedic surgeon. So we always get an x-ray or look at extra from where, somewhere before. And so once we get through that general idea, I've looked at your shoulder, I have an idea of what you, what's going on, x-rays look relatively normal, then our next step, and oftentimes the next step might be anti-inflammatories, it may be home exercise program, or physical therapy. Lots of times when people come see me, they've already waited a long time. Again, they don't really wanna see the doctor, no more than I would wanna see a doctor. They don't want to see the doctor, so they've waited months, and so oftentimes we may also suggest an injection. The injection of steroid in certain places where you can put it to decrease the inflammation in the shoulder, because that's what a steroid does, it decreases the inflammation in the shoulder. And so oftentimes we'll do, you've already done your anti-inflammatories, but we'll keep on the anti-inflammatories, we'll have, give you an injection, we'll do some physical therapy, home exercise program, and then see how you do. At least that's how I do it. Obviously, each orthopedic surgeon does it a little bit differently. And then we'll have you come back in a month. And what I always say to my patients is if this works great and you feel great, wonderful, you no shoulder pain, then just cancel the appointment. But I always would want to have an appointment for them to come back because I don't want to lose them. I don't want them to, to forget. I don't want them to be suffering and not be able to get back and to see somebody. So I always want to keep that door open for them if they choose to close it, that's okay, but at least we have the door open, so we'll take care of them if that's what they need. So oftentimes they'll come back and say, yes, I was better for a while, but I'm not good again. Now I hurt again. And so that will be the time where we'd say, okay, now it's time for ad advanced imaging. So advanced imaging would be an MRI, maybe a CT scan, but typically an MRI. So we'll have them do an MRI, and they'll come back after the MRI. In my practice, what would happen, they would come back and see me. We go over the pictures, I bring them up on my computer, we go over all the pictures of the MRI, we say this is what's wrong and this is what we do.